What's the worst case of Ridge Kid syndrome you've ever seen? 15 year old girl insisted that the family's flights to a Pacific island get pushed back a day so she wouldn't miss an episode of her favorite TV program. They went a day late on vacation. I played football in the local kids league. One kid from another team was basically untouchable as his dad was a major sponsor of the league and would donate money for uniforms, drinks etc. His son was a pretty good receiver but didn't like getting hit and his parents made a big deal of leaving their son alone so he can develop his skills. He was insufferable. Anytime he scored a TD, he would do over the top celebrations and mock all the other players, his teammates included. Then came high school. Most of the kids from the league ended up in one of two schools. He went to mine and some other players. During tryouts, he did well. The coaches were mostly focused on skills and minimal contact during the first few rounds of cuts. The final round was when things got interesting. Full contact was permitted and he got rocked over and over again. No one was actually trying to tackle any harder than normal, it's just this dude didn't know what to do when he got tackled. So he screamed and cried a lot. He didn't make the team. Until his dad came down to the school and offered to donate money for uniforms and some other goodies for our sports teams. So he made the team and again we were told to take it easy on him a bit. So we did. But the other teams didn't. And he went up against some of the players he mocked previously. And they remembered. Our QB kept passing to him. And he was getting repeatedly smashed. Over and over again. It was the only time our team cheered for the other team. He quit playing football after that. I deliver pizza in a very rich area. I'm talking seeing Rolls Royces and Supercars on a daily basis kind of Rick. My manager told me a story of someone that used to work there. This guy would deliver pizzas in a brand new BMW M3 and just put absolutely no effort into his job. Delivering pizza isn't hard. Apparently this guy only had a job because his parents wouldn't pay his allowance if he didn't work. How much was his allowance? $5,000 a month. This guy was making $60,000 a year to deliver pizza part time. A group of rich kids who went to high school with me got super drunk at a party and then drove home and crashed the car. Only one of the four of them got in any trouble. She ended up getting maybe 40 hours of community service. Then this girl was complaining about how her parents wouldn't buy her a brand new, fairly expensive car for her birthday until she got the community service done. Friend in college literally went to the local games top at midnight every Tuesday. He'd buy every new release for every console. We went over to his house one time that year and he had about 60 ice games that were unopened. One time, we were walking around campus and he stopped by the ATM. He got his receipt and called his dad. Turns out his dad was worried his funds were running low, so he sent him dollar sign 25k just to make sure he wasn't going to starve. A kid that used to work for me came in to work super pissed off one day. I asked him what was wrong, to which he replied my effing maid didn't make my bed again, but my dad still won't fire her. I knew a guy who would do anything regardless of the fine slash fee slash up charge. For example, no open parking? Doesn't matter, he'll park in the handicapped spot or in restricted zones. He used to call the fines a poor people tax. I also recall one time, he lost his laptop charger. Naturally, his parents overnight shipped him a new laptop. I had a friend who was a rich kid when I was younger. He was an only child whose parents had high paying jobs. They weren't super rich, but they were well off. My family weren't rich, but not poor either. Being an only child, my friend got spoiled rotten, but he was pretty wise for his age. Viewing games consoles and toys as material possessions only, having no siblings. He just wanted friends his age, not family friends who were much older. One Christmas a relative bought him a SNES, but he already had one, so he gave it to me. I was like hang on this costs a lot of money, but he was like if you practice, we can play more. Once heard my sister's friend say to her mom I've never worn the same outfit twice and I don't ever plan to Group of rich high school kids in Montana out driving around, drinking. Found to combines, large farm tractor thingies, worth about $250,000 each, out in a wheat field. Decided to have a demolition derby. Got caught. In the judge's chambers, with the farmer, 
who just wanted the damages reimbursed. The high-end family lawyers asked what the hell they were thinking when they did it. The response, well, you can't put a price on a good time. Turns out that was the wrong answer. Two girls, both nice and fairly level-headed, but also just raised to damn rich. One would take a taxi everywhere in town. It was a very safe, small college town with free campus buses, and she taxi across campus. She lived two blocks away from me, and would take a taxi from her dorm to my house. Google Maps says it's a full 4 minute walk. She swore she just had a terrible sense of direction, and couldn't figure out where we lived, but you'd think after the first embarrassingly short taxi ride she'd throw our address into Google Maps and just walk. The other would regularly complain about people not knowing how to manage their money. It took a while to figure out but eventually it clicked that she meant very poor people didn't know how to invest their money in stocks and bonds. Then one day we were having a conversation where she revealed she didn't think a house in Detroit in 2010 could possibly cost under 1 million dollars. I told her I grew up in a nice dollar sign 180k house and she thought I was dumb or lying. Shattered her world when I showed her my home on Zillow. When she graduated college she complained about how much stuff cost all the time. It was nice seeing her learn the value of a dollar finally. Had a friend in high school whose dad was uninvolved. He was raised middle class like myself and lived with his mom and stepdad. After high school he worked towards becoming an electrician and was saving for his first apartment. His dad eventually came around when he was right out of high school and started giving him money here and there when he needed it. His dad owned a large company on the east coast and was a multi-millionaire. Soon his dad convinced him to quit trade work and gave him a job at his business. Shortly after, he was promoted to a managerial position he wasn't qualified for and paid way too much. He'd get drunk while on conference, calls and nobody questioned him since he was the boss's son. His dad bought him his first home, almost half a million dollars, and multiple cars. He took up horse racing and, quickly, we had nothing in common. Gone were the days of dumb teenage stuff, going fishing, hiking and video games together. He quickly found a girlfriend whose dad was a multi-millionaire. She was 30 and still putting everything on dad's credit card. I couldn't keep up with their lifestyle and very quickly we faded as friends. After his girlfriend and him broke up, she told me that he was actually severely depressed and almost drove his car off a bridge multiple times. Deep down he was having issues with wanting to live up to his dad's lifestyle and standards, but losing his old friends and life. It's too bad. I haven't seen him in probably 4 years now. We tried to reconnect a few times, but it just doesn't work anymore. My friend called me sobbing because her dad bought her a 2003 Mercedes Benz instead of the 2018 one she wanted for her 16th birthday. She doesn't even know how to drive. Where to begin? Knew a kid that was so spoiled at home that he would throw straight up temper tantrums if our group didn't do what he wanted. I remember all of us were going to a party and he wanted to go to the movies. We all voted and the party won. So we are all being cool, hanging out and playing rock band. Dude got so f pissed that he ended up grabbing the drums while someone is playing it and slammed it against the ground and just left walking home. Another time we were all admiring a VW bug that had gotten. He got all upset, left, and came back with his mom's Mercedes. No license to drive, and didn't even tell his mom. I remember his mom calling him obviously in trouble, and he just said, shut the f*** up, mom. I couldn't stop laughing for like an hour. It was like every time someone in the group had something, he had to show them up. On the spot, I've seen this kid go and buy a DS impromptu. Just because someone in the group showed up with one. We stopped talking to that kid right when all of this started to happen. Came back from a music festival in Southeast Asia. Got VIP tickets. I swear this isn't about me. One of the other festival goers is a 20 something year old Asian girl who looks like she is straight out of the movie Crazy Rich Asians. This chick had a photographer following her around snapping pics of her posing in front of the stage with various acts, getting in the way of other people trying to dance. She asked security if she could get them to clear a section for her to get an unobstructed view of the stage for better photos. She bought a couple of bottles for her table and again, had the photographer take an incredible number of photos of her posing with her bottles of Martel and Jameson. 
She was incredibly rude to the wait staff, snapping her fingers, and in general talking to them, like they were lower class citizens. She asked my mate and I, both westerners, to hang with her and her mates at her table, and again, have the photographer take photos of her posing with us at the table. The other two guys from the group, both Asian, approached us when they saw that we're at a table, and it looked like we had made some friends. When they approached us, the girl and her friends got quiet, spoke amongst themselves in Indonesian, and basically shooed them away. We left them after they did that and walked over to our friends. One of the guys is Indo, and he told us that she basically told them to get lost and know your place.